Subscribe to Adam and Tally World, otherwise you're going to get these hands, you garbage. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Adam and Tally World. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I do appreciate it greatly. This is the WWE's Hell in a Cell 2018 predictions video. Got the list of Jericho right here. I'm going to read off. Right now, I'm going to do this video kind of earlier than I usually do. It's Wednesday right now because I got some stuff going on this coming week. I actually probably won't even get to see the pay-per-view live, so no spoilers. Um, but yeah, we're going to get in and do the predictions. Uh, we're going to go through the matches. If you've never seen this before, here's the rules. Um, I'm going to go through, list all eight of the matches. If you predict, you are going, you want to predict who's going to get the W, the win. It doesn't matter how they win. Whatever happens, they got to get the W. It doesn't matter if they win and they get disqualified and they don't get the belt or they do get the belt. But if they get the W, that's how you get a point. That's all. No other exceptions. No whatever. That's how you win. Um... Also, don't edit your choices because if you do, I could think, hey, maybe he watched the pay-per-view and then edited it after. So don't edit it. If you want to do it again, that's fine. Scratch the old one, make a new one, and there you go. Um, I guess that's basically it. So let's get into it. Match number one is for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship, as you can see down there, Ooh, which is currently held by the New Day. There's the New Day Tag Team Belt. Um, we got the New Day versus Rusev Day on Sunday. A lot of days. Um, I don't know. I feel like the New Day's won so many times, and this would be a great chance for Rusev Day to finally win. I think it might get a little bit of a pop because people aren't expecting them to win. So I'm going to go with Rusev Day to win, but I could be wrong. Um, match number two, this is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. This, of course, was just recently won by Dolphin Drew from the B team. Once again, I told you before, I said the B team, they needed to do something big with them. Otherwise, they were just going to... And it looks like they were just that. They were just uh, paper champions or transitional champions, as they like to call it, between who had the belts before, I believe, was Bray Wyatt and, Sm and SmackDown. Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. Now, Dolphin Drew have it. They're a lot more powerful. They had the rematch. Dolphin Drew still went over. So, poor B team on a side note. Um, they're going against Seth and Dean, who are, of course, friends with the, uh, Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion in The Shield. Um, I'm going to go with Dolphin Drew on this one. Uh, first of all, I hope they win because Seth is already the Intercontinental Champion, and like he's not defending it as of right now on the pay-per-view, so there's one title that doesn't get a match. Why? Because they're going for the tag team titles. Um, match number three. This one's been in the making for eight years. So we had Daniel Bryan versus Miz at the last pay-per-view. Miz won by cheating. They're probably going to have want to have this go back and forth. So how do you do that? You got Daniel Bryan and Brie Bella win. So, of course, they're going to have them win, I believe. And they have the little yes, yes, yes moment at the end of the match. And everybody will be cheering and everyone will be happy. But, uh, yeah, that's who I think is going to win. But it could be wrong. Uh, match number four. This should be for the United States Championship. Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. But Shinsuke Nakamura is not involved, and he's the current U.S. champion. Um, if you watched uh, SmackDown, or was it SmackDown? Yeah, SmackDown. Uh, Randy Orton beat up Jeff Hardy, and then Jeff Hardy came back and did a swanton bomb. I did a twist of fate and a swanton bomb. So on that note, since he Jeff Hardy basically won on SmackDown, even though it wasn't a match, he went away looking good, I guess you could say. I'm going to put my money on the Viper Randy Orton. Uh... This is also going to be the first, I believe, of two Hell in a Cell matches. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Hardy tries the Swanton Bomb off the top of the Hell in a Cell. He misses. Randy Orton stands him up, RKO's him, and then Jeff Hardy's just gone for a while. So he's been around for a while. He went away from WWE. I wouldn't be surprised though if he's got something hurt and they want to put him off the TV for a little bit and let him recoup. I could be wrong on that one too, but I got Randy Orton on this one. Match number five for the Raw Women's Championship. Oh man, this is one of those matches I hate. Uh, it's going to be Ronda Rousey, yay, versus Alexa Bliss, yay, an actual female wrestler. Um, going to go with Ronda on this one. I don't know if anyone's going to get involved or if Alexa Bliss is going to get demolished again like Ronda did to her before, but mark my words, Ronda Rousey is going to hold on to that belt for a long time. Once again, I could be wrong, 
But that's what I put my money on. So Ronda's a big name, even though she's a sore loser from UFC. Couldn't stand losing in real life and almost going to kill herself. But hey, let's make her the number one person. No one's going to remember that. Um, so yeah, Ronda on that one, unfortunately. Match number six for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We got my, my, my girl, Becky Lynch, versus Charlotte Flair, which I wouldn't mind if she was my girl either. Uh, Charlotte's the current champion. Becky has been doing a really good job at beating her up and doing stuff like that and getting in her head. If Becky loses again, well, the last one was a triple threat. But I think if Becky loses, it's going to look really bad for her. Charlotte can lose, and they can go back and forth, back and forth, like they did with Sasha when Sasha and Charlotte were. She'd win it, then she'd win it, then she'd win it, she'd win it, back and forth, back and forth. That's why Charlotte has seven championships, and she's only been wrestling for like four years. Um, I'm going to go with Becky on this one. Fingers crossed that Becky wins. I'm not saying she will. That's who I want to win, and it should be who wins. Uh, for the WWE Championship, the longest reigning WWE Champion in quite some time, almost as long as a certain, <laughs> we don't say his name, CM Punk. Um, we got AJ versus Samoa, and so of course Samoa knows to how to get AJ emotional and makes him not so phenomenal because he just gets all emotional. He just fights with his heart and not with his brain. I think Samoa Joe's going to win on this, and I don't know if they're going to have Wendy get involved, and maybe like she's going to try to get in there, and Samoa Joe's going to be like, hey, come over here. If you want me to save AJ, get over here, and she's probably going to get out or do something, and he's going to get distracted. AJ's going to get distracted, and then Samoa Joe's going to put him in the coquina clutch, choke him out, and new WWE champion Samoa Joe, which I think is pretty good. Granted, Samoa Joe is not the most physically fit-looking person, but... He can go, and he can definitely talk on the microphone. So he's definitely the full package. And I think AJ Styles is a much good enough of a friend with Samoa Joe in real life that he would not be upset with, like, hey, let's put my buddy over, shall we? Let's have him be WWE champion. He's probably been TNA champion, I would imagine. I said I didn't watch TNA. But knowing how good he is, he most likely was TNA champion at one point in time. So I got Samoa Joe winning at Hell in a Cell. Then AJ Styles can win it back just in time for the, the wrestling game to come out. And then all hell breaks loose. No pun intended. Um, for the eighth and final match for the Universal Championship, the belt that everybody wanted to see defended on every pay-per-view because Brock Lesnar was out. Except for me, I didn't care. I enjoyed having Brock as a champion. I did not enjoy seeing Brock Lesnar as skinny fat as he was at the last pay-per-view because he's off the roids because he's going to fight in the UFC. Uh, we got Ron, we got Roman and Braun, mix those two up, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman in the second of two, I believe, Hell in a Cell matches, that's what it is at this point, I believe. Um, this one's kind of weird because this is him cashing in his money in the bank, he being Braun Strowman, instead of, he wanted to say, like, hey, I'm not a coward, I'm gonna get you from behind, I'm gonna do this legit, I'm gonna schedule a match. The last time someone did that, it was John Cena against CM Punk. At, at uh, Raw 1000, and he ended up losing because the big show came out. Uh, that distracted him or something like that, I believe. And The Rock came out, and then uh, CM Punk hit The Rock when he's doing the people's elbow, and then you had the famous CM Punk heel turn right there at Raw 1000, which I hated. Um, and also special guest referee Mick Foley. So you throw Mick Foley in there, Oh, man, they, I guarantee you right now Vince McMahon doesn't know for sure exactly what he's going to do. So we got Roman Reigns, the guy that Vince McMahon has loved for years, and Braun Strowman, the new guy that we thought, oh, cool, Braun's going to be the guy that Roman's going to get kicked to the curb, and Braun's going to be the man. Because I love Braun. It doesn't hurt that he has my same name. Um, so this, if he loses, this will be the, I'll be the third person to lose their Money in the Bank cash in. We got... Damian Sandow and John Cena both lost it. Oh, no, no, no. And Baron Corbin. So we got three people, I believe. So this will be the fourth person if Braun doesn't win. Which is what I'm unfortunately predicting. I'm predicting Roman looks strong. We're gonna probably going to have Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre come out. So they're going to look strong already because they've already got the tag team titles right down here. They're going to come out, start helping Braun against Roman. And then the little kids, the women go, no. Roman needs to win. And then, dun 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 bum, bum. Seth and Dean are going to run down. They're going to pull Dolph and Drew off the cage. Then Roman's going to be fighting back and forth with Braun. 
And then Roman's probably going to jump off the cage onto Drew and Dolph and maybe even Seth and Dean. They're going to catch him. And then he's going to win. And you're still Universal Champion Roman Reigns. That's what I'm predicting. So those are my predictions for WWE's Hell in a Cell 2018 pay-per-view. I want to know what yours are down below. So comment. I'm going to put it in the description. I'll put all the eight matches and who it is. So whoever predicts the best will get a shout out in the video, which will probably post it on Monday because I don't think I'll make it back on time on Sunday. Got a little adventure ahead of me. I'll make a video later and I'll show you. Hopefully it's fun and entertaining. Hopefully I have fun. and Hopefully you enjoy watching what I do. But I can't tell you right now because I don't even know what's going to happen. I could die. <laughs> Uh, and on that happy note, um, that is it once again. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I do appreciate it greatly. And until next time.